Happy Holy Thursday. What a great gift. Today we focus on Jesus Christ and the Eucharist. This is my body. on Jesus in the body and blood, soul and divinity of the Eucharist, that Jesus made a promise that this is my body, this is my blood. So what we got to do is respond to that promise to us, huh? And the way we respond is we believe him, we receive him, and we get transformed into him. The three things I want you to focus on on this Holy Thursday day, and every time you receive the Eucharist, just not on today, but the first thing you got to do is take Jesus at his word. Jesus said, this is my body. Now, Jesus Christ isn't a liar. If you want to call him a liar, you call him a liar. But you can't sit there and take Jesus when he explicitly says something, this is my body, and say, well, he didn't mean that. If he didn't mean it, he was a liar. That means he led all his people astray because we have worshipped him in the Eucharist from day one. When at the Eucharist, when he did it at Luke, and he said, this is my body, this is my blood, the promise... Then later on, when they dedicated themselves to the teaching of the apostles, to the breaking of the bread, to the communal life, and to the prayers, Jesus would have been a liar and led his people astray. I don't believe he is. So we got to take Jesus at his word and believe him. The second thing we got to do is receive him. That means we got to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. We don't just believe it, we receive it. We got to act on it because he said, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will live forever. Do you believe that? then you do everything in your power to receive him as often as you can. Now, if you stop eating, what happens? You die. Is it God's fault? Nope, it's yours. If we stop eating the Eucharist, what happens? We die. Is it God's fault? Nope, it's ours. He said, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will live forever. But then he said in John 6, if you do not eat my flesh and do not drink my blood, you have no life within you. Again, we take Jesus at his word. The last thing that got to happen is we believe him, we receive him, and then we got to be transformed into him. Too often, too many people think that being a Christian is following a set of rules. It's not about setting, following a set of rules only. It's about letting Jesus Christ live inside of us. Galatians 2, 19 and 20. I no longer live. Jesus Christ lives inside of me. So the main thing that we have to show the world is Jesus Christ is alive. And where is he alive at? in me so we need to show the world the reality that christ is alive in us because we receive him and we believe him so today on this holy thursday and all the days of your life believe what jesus christ says to you receive him and be transformed into him the world may believe that jesus christ is alive got it get it gonna do it <laughs> you better May each of you know his love today and forever. Amen.